now it's time to announce the winners. Dallas Newby and Kim Smith for Virtual Passport. The great opportunity with this, this uh, Virtual Passport is that students can take part in this training from anywhere in the world. And it's a tool that they can use between the point where they learn about Humber and apply to the college and then there's that gap of time between being accepted and arriving in Canada. So I think it's a, a great tool for our international students and it was a pleasure to nominate Kim and Delise. Uh, the Virtual Passport to Humber is essentially an online orientation but and, and it's been designed to take students right from pre-departure until after shortly after they've arrived here in Canada and at Humber College. Prior to the Virtual Passport, um, unfortunately a lot of students were arriving, what I felt were unprepared for the realities that they're going to face here in Canada. This is the information that we at, at Humber would like them to have. We have a checklist on the site, a pre-departure checklist that universally all the students love because they could actually go off and ticket. And what I did hear from uh, a number of different students is when they opened it, it made them feel safe, which was a key thing that we wanted to accomplish. We want them to feel that when they come to Humber, they're coming to a school that's going to give them all the information that they require and help them to feel confident that they've made the right decision in the school that they've picked. The second winner is Kirk Rintoul for Experiential Educating. Kirk has a passion for learning and designing innovative techniques of course delivery and shares what he has learned with his colleagues to foster engagement of our students in the classroom. He exemplifies a commitment to student success. Congratulations, Kirk. I come here and I'm look, this is the vault, this is where I find the treasures, I'm looking for all kinds of uh, things that I can use in class. And so I've done a whole lot of games and things. Um, I also took the idea for using flip cameras in class from, from a showcase seminar. I signed up to do like a newscast and we put together this five minute newscast. I'm really looking for um, ways to sort of jazz it up a little bit. Um, uh, you cannot stand anymore at the front of the class like we experienced in uh, university where you've got the professor gives the lecture and the students take the notes and go home. Um, I started teaching here uh, night school and I noticed the students they've been through traffic, they've been on buses, they've worked all day and I think they're looking for a little bit of playfulness and engagement and the students uh, react positively to uh, break up the routine. I don't care how goofy it is if I've met my learning objectives and I'm quite happy that, that uh, we re achieved those results. And the last winners are Jennifer Chatsik and Anne Zabitnu for Visual Storytelling Club. I nominated Anne and Jennifer because it's a collaborative project between the schools of Health Sciences and Media, Apple Canada, and the University of Toronto. I'm so proud of the work that, that Anne and Jennifer have done. Anne and Jennifer's work demonstrates innovation and excellence in teaching and learning. Jennifer and I would, would talk endlessly about different ways to get CICE students involved in being more creative and expressive and making some art. So the Visual Storytelling Club is a, a product of that. I work in the School of Health Sciences and works in the School of Media Studies and the, the Visual Storytelling Club has allowed uh, the two schools to collaborate. The CICE students will use Come to My Class my photography class. Um, we use a variety of media. We also use iPads both as image capture devices as well as to draw and paint. We've downloaded some apps and we uh, do some drawing and painting on the iPads. We were really fortunate um, that Anne was able to connect with Apple Canada and secure a loan of iPads. We were able to use those iPads for students to do all kinds of painting and drawing and exciting stuff. The Having the loan of iPads allowed us to partner with the University of Toronto to do some research on how the use of the iPads can impact communication. And then that research has then led to the CIC program purchasing iPads for the students to have to use on an ongoing basis. Uh, what we really notice though is students who are a little less verbal um, really seem to come out of their shell when they're participating in visual storytelling. It's, it's been really exciting to see students um, build connections with one another and just seem to 
um, really sort of blossom. Mm -hmm, absolutely. After 10 weeks, we have an art show. And it's open to friends and family and the entire Humber community. Um, gives the students a chance to showcase their work here at Humber. The students, I think, feel a really, really fine sense of esteem and really proud of the work they do. And when you see it enlarged big on the wall compared to maybe something smaller on the camera or on a canvas, it's amazing, it makes a really big difference. The students mm -hmm. love visual storytelling. 